Some add-ins do lots of different things. Sticky notes do one thing. You get it from Code Gallery, you install it, and then you can add notes file by file to the code you're writing and it's not inside the code the way a comment would be so it doesn't end up getting checked in and out of your repository, your source tree. Um, that's all it does, that's all it needs to do. Let me show you how it works. I've got some code open here and if I bring up sticky notes I can put um, need to review this with imaginary person Steve and that note uh, the date is put on it automatically along with the time and and uh, it'll remind me that it's there and yes you could put it in as a comment uh, but this way uh, it's only for me to see similarly go on different file the notes are file by file um, this should be written by the end of the week you know whatever it is you need to remind yourself about and when you close Visual Studio the notes are saved but they're not saved in the individual source code files so we'll just let it close I'll bring it back up and open my application again And on the sticky notes pane, here are the same notes that I had before for these two files. So they are persisted, but um, they don't cause a check-ins if you have this in your source control, and they don't actually show up in the code. You have to choose to look at them. And if I go into the project folder, I'll show you where they're actually persisted. Here's my vbproj file. I'm just going to bring up a notepad here and open that vbproj file. Down here at the very end of the file we have a project extension section underneath which we have Visual Studio and then we have user properties and this one is notes and all kinds of bits and pieces that are used by the sticky notes quote code and then here form2.vb uh, this should be written by the end of the week and there's the date the note the date and the time and the other note was in the class library so if I go up into that full folder and drag the C sharp project into notepad and again down to the bottom there you'll see again underneath the project extensions tags the user properties the full file name and the note need to review this with Steve as well as the timestamp. So it's persisted in your project file, uh, not in your actual code itself. And you can just um, play around with them, take away ones when you're done with them, add new ones, whatever. And if you want to send somebody uh, a note, you can click the little email icon. And it'll just pop up. Um, an email message with the note in it and obviously I could go back and forth and copy some code into the email if I wanted to uh, whatever it is that I'd like to do that's all that sticky notes really do in their free form uh, there is a, a paid version available where you can associate the notes more specifically within the file but uh, for a lot of us, the free version will just make us a place rather than a piece of paper you can lose, your own little private place to keep some notes.